yeah, all the starting issues I have had with the Merc, uh, in particular when it first came and came off the truck, was, hopefully you can see it down there, but there's a fuel bowl, a glass fuel bowl, and if that's not full right up to the top, there's no way for the fuel pump to uh, pump gas out of there and into the carb. So when it first came off the truck, that was about half full. And Karen and I had to uh, dump an awful lot of gas down the carburetor in order to get it to start long enough to fill that bowl up and then have it run naturally. What I noticed recently is that even after sitting for about two weeks, enough gas evaporates out of there. Just a tiny little bit, but enough so that uh, the fuel pump is not functional until the engine is actually running. So you end up in a catch-22, which is you can't run the engine because there's no gas and if the engine is not running the fuel pump isn't effective. There are some old-school tricks that um, I've been reading online about um, extending the lever a little bit inside the fuel pump so that while it's turning over it actually is giving a little bit of pumpage but um, probably I will end up replacing the fuel pump at some point. Um, and I also gave some thought to putting an electric pump in either to replace the mechanical pump or to supplement it. Supplementing it mean, meaning have a switch inside the cab which I could turn the electric pump on to prime that pole. Now for an even lower tech solution, um, yesterday I was over at Midway and they have these which are essentially for marine applications like outboard motors that sit over the whole winter and so you end up you know squeezing this and priming uh, a fuel pump or whatever um, to uh, have an easier start. So I have hooked this in line with that glass fuel bowl. So now I can give this some pumps, it fills that bowl up, and then you start. So, so far that's working good. The only issue I have with this is if I blow through this, there's there's a bladder in here which controls the pump action. So if I blow through it, there's a bit of resistance because you can feel yourself blowing through that rubber bladder. So I'm a bit concerned that at higher throttle levels and, and at wide open throttle in particular, that this may restrict flow a little bit and might starve it. I, I haven't had that experience, but I've only been down to the end of the road, the video that I made yesterday. So I don't really know if that's ever going to be a condition for me or not. Um, also, I'm going to tie this up somewhere just so this doesn't have any chance to fall down on a hot part of the engine or something and open up and explode and catch fire and everything else. Um, so far it's in a pretty good spot. This, this this area stays a little bit okay, but I just don't want it falling way down. Or, But anyway, that's the low-tech solution for now. I'm sure there's somebody out there that'll tell me this is completely insane. Or maybe not. I mean, uh, it's simple, but it's effective. And I'm at least going to run this until I figure out some longer term strategy. For now, I'll start it once a week, whether it needs it or not, or more. And uh, as long as the fuel bowl is full, there's no problem starting the Merc. But this is uh, definitely preferable to dumping a bunch of gas down the carburetor and trying to keep it going and continuing to squeeze gas in there. That's never a fun uh, thing. And gas leaks out all over the place because it's going in an orifice it's not supposed to, and blah, 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 blah. So, this is the uh, old squeeze bottle squeeze solution. Alright, well that's that for today and uh, thanks for watching.